I pulled over lots and lots of times for to tell people. Like I said earlier, I got good friends, Todd and Lisa, that I did the same thing for, and uh, they're great friends now and live down in Florida. They ride. Their own friends left them behind, so I've done it many, 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 many times. To help, to help, to help with, with tires Changing and tires like or whatever I can do. If there's somebody obviously stranded on the side of the road or even in a parking lot with a hood up or something, mm -hmm. I'll take the time to help them. This time it was a little dramatic and I got hurt, but I would do it again. And how did you, how did you, how did you get hurt? What happened that night? Um, I walked up to the car, I know this because of the phone call, and asked him, be, asked, I guess a direct quote would be, dude, are you okay? And he said, yeah. His, and the guy who passed away, his dad's girlfriend heard all this. And about that time, the phone went dead. That's when they figured we got run over. And this is, this is Ricardo, Ricardo, who yeah, was the, the man away. who he, crashed on the side of the road who you were helping. Yeah, he passed away on the scene after he got run over. What were your what were your injuries in relation to the multi vehicle crash that happened when you were uh, on the side of the road helping Ricardo? Sure, well, we have to tell me with some, and there's more than we can list. It's a huge list, but um, there's between the two bones in my left leg, there was nine breaks. Um, part of the lower one um, was broke so bad that it cut off the blood circulation to my leg. Liver lacerations, kidney failure, kidney failure, um, brain injury. Cause, because I was, uh, my brain was without oxygen six to eight minutes. I almost bled to death. The reason why I didn't was because it was cold. Um, what Collapsed was, lung. Collapsed lung. Rotor cuff. Yeah, my shoulder is still messed up. It's still messed up. It's going to require operation. Possibly. Po probably, but yeah. Um, what else? Uh, what else? Um, There's a huge list. It's, brain trauma, brain. I've lost my eyesight, hopefully temporarily. Um, it, like I said, there's more than a week. The, the list there's, is like, what, two pages? Yeah, there's two pages. On a computer page, mm -hmm. two pages. Sure. The doctors in uh, the first ICU here uh, told her they didn't think I'd live longer than three days. How long have you been in the ICU, Jamie? He was in ICU for here till the 18th of January and then was transferred over to Vibra. I was in the ICU there, I want to say two weeks, maybe three, and then onto the general floor for a week to mm -hmm. two weeks. And About a week, I think. It might have been a week. And then back over, over to, to, to St. Al's rehab. And doctors have said that you may be here for another week or two weeks? Um, the, the way I understand it is it's easier to ask, the easier to say we need this much time to, to wait till later and ask for more. So they're saying three weeks. But at the time they made a decision, they didn't know whether I could put weight on this leg yet. And he's so, able to now. So it could be, it, it could be sooner, but right now it's three weeks. What do you plan to do after you after you leave the hospital? What are you most excited to do when you leave this place? Um, go home. There's not a lot I can do right now. I still got months, months and months, months of rehab, and I can't even really see right now. So it's not like I can go right back to work. I would love to. My, Work family's waiting there for me. Um, but just to be home with her and my dog and Mel and back in my own environment and out of a hospital um, and work on getting better. That's hopefully sometime this year I can go get back on my bike and go ride my friends. They're all waiting for me. It's amazing when something like this happens to you, you really find out it's a cliche, old cliche, who your friends and family really are. And I found out 